what is gray, massive, and a pain in the ass to remove from a building, and also largely ignored? It's the elephant in the room, and the elephant in the room is cement. We use four billion tons of cement per year. That is about the rate as if you were building a New York City every 40 days. And you can see this is the skyline of New York. That's quite a lot of cement. It's a problem because each ton of cement results in one ton of CO2 emissions, which adds up to 8% of global CO2 emissions. Now, this is a problem because between now and 2050, we have to reduce our CO2 emissions to approximately zero if we want to mitigate climate change. But at the same time, we also have to be building buildings. You know, we're in a housing crisis. So we have to continue building here and in the developing world because our population is growing and it's also becoming more urban. This is, this is your grandmother's house. This is you know, what we were building about 100 years ago, and there's still plenty of cement in, in this building. But on the next slide, you can see a tremendous amount of cement and steel is being added to our landscape, and we just have to find a new way to do this, to, to make this essential product. This is how cement is made. This is the, the core, uh, this is the origin of cement CO2 problem. It's a giant fossil fuel fired kiln and it's really huge, I can't underestimate it. You could comfortably drive your car down the center of, of this kiln and the fire uh, inside is just a raging fire, it's almost like a volcano in there. It's 1500 degrees Celsius, um, about the melting point of steel and it produces cement at a rate of you know, 100 tons an hour. So that's 12 elephants an hour, and there's about four elephants worth of coal being, being thrown into this um, kiln as well. So it's a, it's, a, it's a tough problem to solve because you need that high temperature, and the rocks themselves that go into cement emit CO2. So you know, what can be done? We can't go cold turkey on cement. It's just such an important material but there is a solution. We can burn non-fossil fuel in the kiln, so biomass, hydrogen. We can capture the CO2 that does get emitted from the kiln and sequester it or use it um, for, for other chemicals. We can blend cements with other cementitious materials that have low carbon, and we can totally reinvent technologies, which is what my startup and many others are looking to do. So there are solutions. And people, people in the industry know about them. So in the past 20 years, the carbon footprint of concrete in the US has gone down by 20%, which is very impressive. And globally, the multinational corporations that produce cement have all um, made you know, net zero commitments for 2050. And you know, there's a lot of innovation happening at universities and at startups. But it's not, it's not enough, like we need more. It's just such a big problem and it's just such a, a massive problem and it's so fundamental that we really need more cooperation. It, there really has to be a concerted effort to address this problem. So collaboration between building owners, with architects, with structural engineers and with materials suppliers to really bring new products to market and to ask for low carbon cement. Because without capital, and without policy and without consumer demand, this problem will continue to fly under the radar. So the goal of this talk, the reason I came here was to raise awareness for this issue and to let you know that you can help. So my first call to action is for you to notice cement. Like once you see it, you really can't unsee it. It's everywhere, you walk on it, it surrounds you. And it's a very, very cool material. So it's a very ancient material and maybe it's not as sexy as the like, carbon nanotubes or whatever hits pop side daily, but it it's, has really sophisticated and interesting chemistry that a lot of young scientists can really get excited about. It's a really high performance material. My second call, to action is for all of you to ask about low carbon cement. If you're in charge of building something, a home reno or you know, just at home hardware, just ask, where does this cement come from? What is its CO2? Do you have options? Low carbon cement 
is the future, and you can be part of that. And not only will you be part of that, but you can also catalyze it just by asking about it and being aware. Thank you.